And you say to yourself, where's the challenge? All these colossi, they've been pushovers. I mean, sure, they're large, they're in charge, and they're imposing. But really, I mean, when it gets down to the title, Shadow of the Colossus, I'm the shadow, right? Like, I'm, I'm the doom. I, I might be small, but I'm the doom. I ride a horse. I'm the doom. And I, I'm trying to get results, because, I mean, we all kind of agree. The motivation is this mysterious girl that we brought to this land, hoping to revive from the dead. Who we assume is probably our girlfriend. Maybe wife. Fiance? I don't know. Love interest, for the most part. It's also possible she might be a family member, like a sister. Uh, I think it's a little bit of a stretch to insinuate she might be our mom, but, you know, I'm willing to bet sister is more a more likely scenario for her trying to think she's more of a family member. I mean, even cousin would probably fit right up there. But for the most part, I mean, I, I choose to believe love interest, because, I mean, it, it seems to... All the actions, all the... All the things from the cutscenes, the very few that there are, seems to dictate that we we got a, a girlfriend that's unconscious and, you know, we're trying to bring back from the dead because, you know, we love her and it's a great motivation for a story and it kind of, it I don't know if it technically justifies our actions, but at, at the very least, there's an understanding for what we're doing. All that said, going back to the Colossi, um... A lot of them have been kind of pushovers. We haven't really had to deal with a whole lot of difficulty. I mean, sure, there's a lot of puzzle elements involved with trying to find the weak point, and I admit, some of them are a lot more difficult trying to figure out how to do than others. But for the most part, a lot of the Colossi, they haven't really been all that aggressive. I mean, sure, you had number three, who had the giant stone pillar, and he tried to swing it at us and uh, crush us with it. And then you had number six, which had the fist that tried to turn you into a massive, like, lump of organic matter. I can't think of a better word. But my point is, you know, you got, you got Colossae there trying to not really do much to us. You know, they're just kind of roaming around. They're not really ready for our impending doom that we tend to bring upon them, and then we kill them, and then I feel guilt. But then you got number eight. Number eight's a bit of a different story. Sure, you can talk about him, or you can go right up to him and realize, hey, he directly assaults me. And I mean directly assaults us. Yes, number eight is a little bit of a different story. Number eight actually tries to kill you. Sure, he doesn't notice us, and I have to get his attention. Kind of a foolish move if you ask me, but at the same time, it'll all make sense once you figure out the strategy to this guy. You don't know the strategy. Or maybe you do. Maybe you played this game. Maybe you know exactly what I'm trying to do. Also, I, I gotta try to avoid ricocheting my arrows off the ground. I gotta aim directly towards him. Get his attention. Oh, I think he notices me. That's very fortunate. I mean, sure, he glows. And that glowing is very independent. Independent of our own doom. But hey, there has to be one Colossus that has to try to actually kill us, right? There are several. We haven't encountered any of them yet. I mean, sure, number seven was kind of a challenge. Could actually kill you. Number eight, on the other hand, will try to kill you. Intentionally. Not even indirectly, just intentionally lobbing shit at you. And it's not pleasant, but we'll get to that in a second. Right now, he's on the wall. I want him off the wall. I want him to fall onto his back. Because as you can see, there's stuff I can climb on his soft underside belly. I can't get to the soft underside belly because he's hanging on a wall and I'm kind of not able to grab onto it. Fortunately, his soft underside belly is also a weak point to have him fall onto his back. So really, you might think, hey, I gotta aim at his four glowing legs. And yes, aiming at two of them, shooting them out, that will make him fall over. But hey, turns out, aiming at his soft underside belly also works. 
And like so, you get his weak point. Very fortunate, I might add. It's what we all need. It's what we all want. And it's... Look, I got results. That's what I've been trying to do all... All part. Also, he has a little bit of a lobster tail, but I guess that's irrelevant. So... Now that we're exposed, now that he knows that we're here, he's gonna lob shit at it. Yeah, it's not, it's not good. You don't want to stick around. It's not that the, the light bolts. I can't really think of anything else. He just, he fires little light bolts at you. They hurt, and that's not really what kills you. What kills you is the fact that once, once they shoot and you know they just kind of disperse, they leave this little static cloud that will straight up kill you. If you're in it too long, it'll straight up kill you. You will die. You'll be sad on so many levels. It's happened to me. It's unfortunate, but, you know, I, I digress, you know. I don't need to lament over that because I'm strong. I, I'm the hero. You know, I got to save my girlfriend, as I've kind of explained. You know, I got I to gotta do that. Or at least I assume she's my girlfriend. I mean, again, there's so many possibilities. But, you know, for the sake of everything, I'm just going to refer to her as my girlfriend. Because, you know, it's it's what I choose to believe. It's the only thing that makes sense. And if it turns out she's my sister, well, I guess I had it wrong the whole entire time. Not important. You know what? I'm finding a giant lobster lizard monster. It's, it's a stone lobster lizard monster. That's what I'm doing. I guess you could call it something else. But, hey, it, it's what it is. It is what it is, and it's also glowing, and it's also... I need to get his attention. It doesn't know that I'm all the way on the fourth floor. Because, you know, I'm just chilling here. I'm just trying to get it get it up against the wall, climbing it, so I can aim ever so slightly. So, if, you're, if you find yourself at this situation, you can just aim at his soft underbelly. It's not going to make a big of a difference if you want to aim at his legs. I mean, you can. It, it's more useful if it's on the other side of the wall, and you happen to not be on the other side of the wall. So, you know, do that at your own leisure, but if you're like me, well, screw it. You're just gonna aim at its soft underside belly and just make it fall off, and then it's gonna be unconscious. Also, another thing to note, very important, you might be tempted, well, you know, maybe you, maybe you just want a straight fall out like the the lowest possible like floor possible like at at your leisure you know go at like floor two and you know you can but it's gonna regain consciousness a lot quicker and it's gonna do this shit that's not something we all want see i could have killed it i was a big doofus but my point is if you if it drops from a higher floor it stays unconscious longer and that's very important, because you're going to want time to actually dig your sword right into its weak point. Because, I mean, let's be honest, if you don't, well, then it's, it's going to be a more drawn-out fight. You don't need that. You don't want it. It could be so much quicker. Also, you know, trying to not have it kill you, that, that would also be very fortunate. Now, I'm not completely sure, because I haven't tried it, but... I guess, theoretically, you could try to aim for it at floor 5, but I wouldn't. I don't think there's a lot of room to really maneuver there. For my money, I mean, I, I choose to go to floor 4 because, you know, I have this giant wide open chasm that I can just drop down from. And it makes things so much more viable on so many levels. Also, soft underside belly really gets the job done. Take my word for it. See what I did. I got results. Also, I almost landed on his head. That would have been kind of cool, but I, I digress. You know what? Point is, I, I just gotta, I gotta go for its weak point. Just one more stab. Here we go. Oh, I know what you're saying. Do I feel bad? I don't know, man. I don't know if I feel bad. Because, I mean, sure. Guilt. Guilt strikes me right at the heart. That's what that symbolizes. That's what it symbolizes to me. That's what I interpret. But at the same time, I mean, it was trying to kill me. It would have killed me. I'm slightly a little numb. Also, I'm slightly a little numb from, like, all my actions, man. Yes, I want to save. Give that to me. 
I don't know. I feel a little guilty deep down inside, you know, because to be honest, as much as I hate to say it, I I can't help it, man. They're, they, they're, it's all sad. You get that incident bag? It's like, what have I done? At the same time, I mean, had I let it, it would have killed me. Oh, rude awakening, am I right? <laughs> I mean, as I said, pending doom. You know, Shadow of the Colossus, that's us. Um, I, I do have to say something, though, speaking of impending doom. Um, so, I'm not entirely sure, but the cutscene that we just had, you know, you can go re-watch it if you want, even though it just happened five seconds ago, you know, I'll give you a second. Uh, but the point is, you know... The alarm in, in the part of my head that says something symbolic just happened. It just went off. I don't know. Sure, our girlfriend woke up, but did you notice that the birds were, like, all inverted, like, color-wise? Like, you know, normally they're, they're like, dove-like in the sense that they're all white, but in that cutscene they were black? Like, it's supposed to symbolize something, uh... Like morbid or decrepit or like something bad Like some sort of impending doom. I mean, maybe it's just me But I mean like something about that just seems kind of off and maybe it's foreshadowing for it to the future Maybe I know what happens. Maybe I don't although I said I beat this game So I don't know I probably do and if it's what I think it is. I mean, I guess I guess it's all foreshadowing my point is, I'm going to shut up about it, because I'm trying to avoid spoilers, because that's the route I'm going in this Let's Play. But on the other hand, um, I have a little bit of time. I might as well do a little bit of exploration. I, I guess I could fast forward it into hyper exploration, because, I mean, the true factor of this whole entire matter is it's pretty straightforward to where we need to go. On the other hand, I mean, like, there's really not a whole lot to say. Uh, this first save shrine that we had, uh, well, basically, I already went to that, you know, that we encountered that in, like, part four. But for the most part, I mean, it's pretty direct to the next Colossus. But I always feel bad when, you know, I just, I don't really get anything, like, some sort of extension on my health or, like, you know, a stamina boost from getting a lizard tail you know i always feel bad if i don't extend something before the next boss fight because truth be told i mean i could make myself so much better and make things a little bit more bearable when i go fight the next colossus it really helps out and also 
helps out in the sense that, you know, these guys are getting a lot more aggressive. They're getting pretty direct in their attacks instead of, you know, passive, passively aggressively hurting me or indirectly at the very least hurting me just by like their own actions. No, now they're intentionally trying to murderize me and that's not good. So, you know, a little bit of a detour. I hope you all appreciate it. Next time we're going to go do a thing. And it should be interesting. Although, I don't know. You guys you guys be the judges of that. Impending Doom. That's us. Yeah.